This is Plumbing 101, where we talk about sinks. And among the issues that eventually you'll need to deal with is you'll start to get a drip, drip, drip out of the spout. You can get water to accumulate on the shoulder of the sink as well. And I'll show you why that would occur. But it is much more common to get the drip, drip, drip out of the faucet. And so the first thing that you need to do is remove these handles. And that's easy enough. There's a little plug here. This one is red because it's the hot water and there's a blue one on this side. And that plug just pulls out of there like so. Again, I'm going to close that drain so I don't lose this. And then, you know, these are your Allen wrenches and you've got to find the right size. I've already selected it. It goes in here like so. There's a set screw in here and I'll get this engaged and I just loosen that screw in order to then lift this handle off of here. It's going to take a couple turns in order to get this off. And if you're lucky, the set screw will not actually come out of there. It will go loose, just like this here. And it reveals the stem here. So this is step number one, is to take the handle off. And to show you what comes next, we're going to use a faucet that is not installed. It's the same mechanism, but this will be easier for everyone to see. Before we do the next thing, however, down underneath, we need to shut off the supply. You just turn this knob to the right. Believe me, if you forget to do that, when you do the next step, you'll have a gusher and you'll remember to go back and shut the supply off. What we've done already is simply taken the handle off. On a faucet like this, you just pop the insert here out and there's a screw there holding the handle onto that stem. And that's what we've done over here. Next step after that, with your adjustable wrench, you see this is squared off. You want to remove this bright work here. And it will expose the body of the faucet like this. And I just want you to see when this is in proper place, there's a little notch here and a little white tab that goes into that notch in the brass. We'll need to line that back up when we put this back together. Next step is we've got to get that stem out of there and it's a little stiff so what I've done on this side I've removed that bright work, I put the handle back on so I have something to grab and now I've pulled this out and what you'll see is this is the cavity where the supply of water comes in and this is the faucet mechanism here. Let's look at this first. There is a black o-ring here that goes around this and as you turn the water on and off, that o-ring will wear out and when it does, water will escape up past the side of this. That's when water will accumulate on the shoulder of a sink. That doesn't happen nearly as often as the drip drip. These holes here or the solid piece will either line up with or they will obstruct. You see the black ring in there? That's where the supply of water comes in. As you open and shut this faucet, you line up with that black supply. The water comes through that supply and it goes through these holes here and it comes out the spout. And when the faucet is drip, drip, dripping, it's because the black washer inside here has gotten worn. So we're going to replace that. I'm going to show you how. Remember the supply has been turned off. This cavity will be full of water, and so you'll take a paper towel or a rag and you'll soak up the water inside there. And then, using your needle-nosed pliers, what we want to do is remove the black washer from inside. And then, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little silver metal piece that is inside there as well. And we need to get that out also. So, I'm going to set this washer to the side. And I'm going to grab this middle piece here. What this is, it's a spring. And the way this works is this spring fits under that washer. Just the cap goes over it like so. And the spring helps hold the washer tight up against the base of that plate. And over time, the rubber here will wear out. This will actually get cupped and the spring will lose its tension. 
So when you replace the washer, you replace both the black piece, the cap, and the spring. They are sold as a matched set at the hardware store. At the hardware store, they're going to have a little case somewhere back in the plumbing department with all these drawers. You'll pull the drawer and open the lid, and inside will be little cubby holes, and in each cubby hole will be a different size washer and spring. You'll ask the helpful hardware person to help you find the right spring and washer matched set. They'll probably cost you 50 cents. So you'll buy replacements, and frankly, if I was doing this, I'd do both the hot and the cold at the same time. So take these to be sure you get the proper sized replacements and buy two sets, bring them home, and then we're just going to reverse the process. That's the uh, challenging part of this because first, you'll notice that the spring has to go into the washer in the right direction. If it's upside down, that cap will not fit on it. So first, you've got to get it in the right direction. And that's important because then we've got to get both of these back in that hole in the right direction as well. You want to be sure to get these in the right direction and that grease will make these sticky. So you want to hold it with your needle nose and then the trick is simply to angle it in there, get it close to where it belongs. You see it's not quite in place, but it's close enough that I can now take my finger and push it in place. As long as everything is properly aligned. And don't be surprised if it takes you two or three tries before you get it. Especially because I can move the faucet around here, it's loose, but in your case it'll be attached to the sink. But there it is properly in place. The next step with this properly in place is to simply restore the stem. I'm going to slide this in here and then remember I want to be sure that I get the notches here and here into the proper position so that when I take the bright work and I screw it down it will go all the way down flush with the body of this faucet. And if I got that in and I tighten it up good and tight, then I'll turn the supply back on. And if everything worked properly, I will not have a gusher. If the water comes flowing out of here, that means we didn't get that seated properly. We need to turn the water off and go back and be sure all the pieces are back in place where they belong. And then the final step is to simply take the handle and put it back on here using the Allen wrench to use uh, on the set screw to twist it back into place to hold it tight. And then hopefully you didn't lose your little rubber cap. That's in place where it belongs that you push back in that hole. Done.